Hi everybody, we're going to do a Q&A. We're going to talk about how to set up a really ideal Zoom call. Now, this is a follow-on to our working from home wardrobe video. Um, you know, this video is about how to make the most of this great working from home wardrobe. And we're going to give you some tips on lighting, camera setup, and what you can wear when you're on a Zoom call and you want to present in the best way possible. So, uh, first thing to understand is that, you know, when you're doing these Zoom calls, you are relying on your laptop's camera. And frankly, your laptop's camera is often pretty bad, worse than the one on your phone, most likely. Um, there are ways to work within its constraints. Um, so first is lighting. Because the camera uh, is of such poor quality, like it is important to have just the right amount of light. You know, a modern, f a modern camera sensor can deal with very strong and very dark conditions, sorry, very bright and very dark conditions, um, but the laptop's webcam cannot always do that. And so it's really important to try and balance the right amount of light to present yourself the best. Uh, this right now, and I'm filming myself on my laptop's webcam, and I'm gonna splice in this footage into the video as well. This right now is pretty ideal. So I've got a soft, diffuse-ish light source over here. And Sam, if you could just turn that off for a second. See, when I turn that off, now I'm relying on just the natural light of the room. And I like the color, but because it's just not bright enough, you can tell my laptop camera is struggling. Like, everything has gotten a little bit softer, a little bit noisier. And this is what I mean by you can't be in a situation that's a little too dark. It's important to maintain an adequate amount of light. Okay, Sam, you turn that back on. But what happens if you have too much light? So, Sam, if you could rotate with me. So we're gonna to rotate to be a little bit closer to that light source. And see, in this spot, like you can start to see this side of my face, which is facing the light, is getting blown out. You know, you're losing a lot of the color and definition there. It just looks like a big piece of white. Something we would definitely wanna avoid. Another situation to avoid is being overly backlit. I mean, if you can avoid backlighting, it's always best to. Sometimes you can't because of the configuration of your room. Um, this is an example of like too much backlight. Like as I move my head here, I'm even losing like sections of my face and it's just very distracting for the background. Okay, let's go back to the ideal quote unquote position. Second thing to think about is composition. So regarding composition, you want a background that is not distracting, you know, relatively easy on the eyes. And if you can get a little bit of separation between you and the background, that's even better. You know, so like behind me, it's basically just a consistent piece of brown wood, it's walnut, and then a little bit of our product scattered around here and there. But this is like a pretty comfortable thing to be looking at over a zoom call. So backdrop is important. Also the position of your webcam. Um, so in the case of my laptop, the camera is right here in the top. Um, sometimes you get laptops where the camera is positioned a little further down. That's a bummer, that's a tough angle because you basically have a nose cam like that. Um, never be afraid to just put your laptop on a couple of books or something like that and just elevate. You know, The more in line with your face the webcam can be, um, the better you're gonna look. Now let's move on to like, what do you wear on a Zoom call? Uh, you know, don't wear a t-shirt. Like everyone can do so much better than just wearing a t-shirt on a Zoom call, right? For me, I always find things with a collar are the best. Things with a collar will always frame the face a little bit better. And then to take it one step further, if you can layer it a little bit, it adds a little bit of visual interest. It makes it look like you put in a little bit more effort. And if you can layer it with something that has a lapel, that adds a little bit of extra definition to like, your chest and to your shoulders. And that is a great thing for like when you wanna present yourself well on a Zoom call, right? So like I have this, this is the lapel, and I've got this for my face, I've got this for my shoulders. Like it's a very complete and coherent looking thing. Color wise, um, you know, much as I love navy, and navy is always a great choice, uh, the problem with navy is that it doesn't always render that well given the limitations of a webcam. So try wearing, not navy, try wearing something that's a little bit more intermediate in terms of color. Um, like we talked about the 3PB in a previous video. The 3PB 
for instance, in this kind of tannish color, is a nice thing on a web call. You know, because it's still jacket looking. It's got a lapel of its own, well, a lapel and a collar of its own, as well as your shirt collar. You know, and so this whole part is getting all the attention it needs to look your best on a Zoom call. As for shirts, if you can avoid wearing too much white, that's a good thing. Nothing wrong with white shirts. It's just that it's so, the webcam is so sensitive to it. You know, just a little bit too much light and that shirt will blow out and it'll look like your whole body's on fire. Um, personally, I like things like this. Like I like things that have a pattern to them, but a relatively thick pattern, like a relatively thick stripe. I think that is a good way to go um, for the webcam shirt. Alrighty, uh, that is about it in terms of tips for us. If you can think of anything else, please feel free to leave it in the comments because we would love to know more and we'd love to know more about everyone else's setups. And uh, oh, one last thing. Uh, if you decide you don't want to use the laptop's webcam, what else can you use? A lot of digital SLRs now will allow you to actually take the video feed from your webcam, uh, sorry, from your digital camera and feed it into your computer as if it were a webcam. Um, we actually do that for our trunk shows and it is a very nice way to get high quality video over a call. Um, so that's definitely an option. Or you can buy this thing called CamLink. And the CamLink will take the HDMI output of a DSLR um, or mirrorless camera and then turn it into a USB webcam feed. And Zoom or Google Meet or whatever you want to use will treat that just as if it was treating a normal webcam. So that's another option for you. Alrighty, that's it for now. I've talked my voice hoarse. Thanks for watching.